Hey Simmers, this is Simplicity Sim. So man, let me tell you, this was a requested video, okay? And I love you guys so much that I literally, I don't want to cuss on here, but I went through a lot with this one right here. Probably because of the fact that it is a mod that has been helping creators, content creators, um, anyone who understands that they go through issues with doors and windows being broken. It's a great mod. I'm not speaking negatively on this. But there are always creators out here that have these wonderful, amazing mods that everyone wants to get their hands on. And let me tell you, if you are new or you don't understand what you're doing, it can be very difficult to get the mod to work the way you want it to. And I am just so sorry if anyone has went through hell and back on this. And honestly, I'm going to be forefront and honest with you guys. This isn't a guarantee that it's going to work for you either. Um, I'm just... This was a requested video and I want to do my part to basically help you guys out the best I can. I told you guys I'm not a professional. I, I literally like put this disclosure out there continuously. I only have this channel based off my experience um, with mods. So, you know, like, and, and it seems to be going well for a lot of people. I've helped a lot of people. So I just want you guys to know, like, I love you guys so much. And I'm just so grateful for y'all. And I'm going to get to the point now. Okay. So anyway, if you have a Mac, you probably went through hell and back on this one. Because you've been having broken windows, broken doors, all that. And you needed to install it. And you have been struggling. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. But this is going to require you downloading something to your computer. So if you are not comfortable doing that, then you need to exit off the video right now. Okay. So. I think they're gone now. All right, let's do this. All right, so <laughs> I'm going to have this link in the description automatically. So you guys are going to be able to get to this. No problem. All right. When you get to this page right here, feel free to read. Okay. Reading is never going to let you guys down. Even if I miss something, they won't. Okay. Because they created the mod, right? So please do not beat me up. You know what I'm saying? Please. Okay. Please, I'm just, uh, this is requested and I'm just trying to help as much as I can. If I don't do what you guys need me to do, I'm sorry in advance. Okay, so here we go. Um, the beta version of Sims 4 Studio for Mac. So that is the one you want to click if you're trying to install on, on the Mac computer. Okay, so we're going to click Sims 4 Studio Mac Candy Apple. All right, once you click that, it's going to bring you to this tab here. I had already had it pulled up. That's why there's two tabs. So don't freak out. But anyway, it's going to show you what the Apple Blossom looks like. Okay, um, you know, the animation tab, the build, all that. So pay attention to that. Um, it says Sims 4 Studio is a versatile tool for making custom content for Sims 4. Okay, the interface for Sims 4 Studio and Mac is much like the Windows version. Although there are some minor differences, please feel welcome to check out the Windows version tutorials. If you run into differences that hamper your progress, post in the tutorial thread for help or open a thread in the creator help section. Guys, I wanna go ahead and tell you guys this right now. If you haven't already, go to simplicitysim.com. Go ahead and type it, it's simplicitysim.com. Get the ebook that I have on simplicitysim.com. It is super, super, super helpful. And the reason why I say this is because you will be able to use your phone while you're downloading on your computer and you will have a checklist that will literally be available for you to help you with any questions you have while installing the mod. So you do not make the mistakes that I went through and other people went through when installing mods. It is like a little helper, just envision it as your little helper. And the reason I'm saying this to you guys is because just like they said right here in this post to go to their forums and go to their tutorial video they had, sometimes you can do all you can to get help. You can go to tutorial threads, you can go to that creator help section, you can, you know, comment on their their Patreon and you still are lost and you still don't have the the answers that you need. And that is why I created the Sims for checklist checklist for you guys when you are installing mods. It's a great ebook. Go check it out. It's at simplicitysim.com. It will help you. I promise. It's a digital download, and you will be able to go through that while you're installing the mod to make sure that you're not making mistakes. Okay, guys. So once you have that ebook, go ahead and just look back on that and make sure that you are doing everything that you possibly can to install the mod correctly. All right. So. 
It's showing you the pictures of what it looks like, what it's going to look like inside the studio, all that jazz. It literally looks exactly the way the, to me, it looks exactly like the windows. They said it's minor differences. I don't really see it, but it is what it is. So you're going to scroll to the bottom because as I tell you guys all the time that at the bottom, okay, is where you are going to be able to download your mods, which is actually something that I help you guys with in the ebook as well. Because a lot of times when you are new to installing mods, a lot of creators have different websites. And what happens is you don't know where the download link is. So you struggle going through tab after tab after tab, and you're worried because you don't know which link to click. You don't know what to install. And so that's what the ebook is there for. So you guys know how to navigate in a situation situation like that. All right. So there's a download link tab. It tells you it has download from Google drive or alternate alternate download. doesn't matter which one you choose. It's just letting you know it has different links based off different people's computers in different situations, right? Also, this is very important where it says system requirements. It says Mac OS O captain 10, 11 or above tested and working on Montre 12.4, the Sims 4. So that is basically just letting you know what version of the Mac you need to have. Okay. If you do not know how to check that, go to Google and say, how do I check what version of a Mac I have? And it will tell you exactly how to get there because everybody has different kind of Macs. So I don't want to say, Hey, do it this way and do it this way. And you got like an older Mac or a newer Mac and it completely confuses you. So please just go to Google and Google will gladly tell you which version you have. And you will know that this will work for you. All right, let's go ahead and go to download from Google Drive because I typically do Google Drive because it's easier. Okay, guys, it's always been my go-to with mod creators, but you can do what you want to do. Okay, and then you can just click download in that right tab right there. It's loading. I'm just going to wait for it to load, guys. Oh, it is telling me Google Drive can't scan this file for viruses. This file is executable and may harm your computer. We're going we're gonna to be a little risk taker anyway. We're going to click download anyway. Like I said, in the beginning of this video, you will be downloading something, guys. So if you're not comfortable doing that, please just click away. All right. So it is downloading at the bottom of the screen. I see the circle going around the paper icon. Once it is done, it's going to blink. And then you can click the arrow at the bottom of the screen. You're going to click show and finder. And then you're going to go ahead, double click, just drag it into the applications tab. And you should hear the ding like I just did. And then let's try to find it ourselves because I'm, guys, I don't have the best eyes. So it takes me a while. And then you load it up. So here's a few things that popped up while I was installing, but I had to do them off the screen so that way my passwords and stuff weren't getting out there so i'm just going to walk you guys through what happened and what did i do the first thing that happened if you have mac is that it popped up basically saying that this was not a safe download and it meant that it was not going to install it long story cut short right so I had to go to system settings and I had to go into privacy. It's called privacy and security. And once I was there, I went into security. I already scrolled down to security and I clicked on the app store. Once I clicked on the app store and not app store and identified developers, it started working for me because at first it was just basically saying that this is not safe and you cannot download this. It was already causing problems there. So I clicked on app store and it let me in and I put my password in because it wanted to verify that this was a change that I wanted to make. Okay. Once you get the security situation worked out for yourself exit out of that and then the game is going to download once it downloads this setting is going to pop up probably because your sims 4 is not in the correct place that you thought it was so the way you find out what place it's in is you come here and you right click on your sims 4 after you load up your sims 4 so make sure you go to oregon and load up your game when you hover over options you'll see a tab that says show and finder Okay, it's going to show you exactly where this Sims 4 folder was. So at first I was thinking that it was in applications and 
Well, yeah, it is in applications, but I was thinking it was in a different place. Like the Macintosh is where it was showing at first Macintosh applications, Sims four. So it wasn't working, but I then found out that it wasn't in Macintosh. It was actually in the user, the user, which is my name. So you go to user, um, and I'm going to try to go back to see if you guys can kind of get the gist of what I'm talking about, but you basically click on users and then once you click that, you click whatever your name is, and then you go into um, applications, and then you'll find your Sims 4. And where you do this at is right here. These three little dots that it has, you go into your users this way. So everything I just showed you, you'll do it here with these three dots right here, okay? Once you do that, it will load up the game, and it will connect to your Sims 4, okay? I know that seems confusing, but guys, all you do is click the three dots after you already verified your security. You go to the users tab. If you have to go to Macintosh or wherever that is, find it. Once you get to users, you select your name and then you select applications and then you'll find Sims 4. Okay. So that's how you do it on Mac. Um, I know that was difficult. I'm so sorry for you guys. So now I'm going to exit out of everything real quick. If it lets me. <laughs> and we're gonna load it back up so when you click on s4 studio sims 4 studio after downloading it i'm gonna double click keep in mind at the very top is where the sims 4 studio location is to be able to change broken doors and windows so you're gonna select content management okay you're gonna go to batch fixtures they're gonna select over objects and then you're gonna do fix windows and doors star wars patch of course, fix chairs and anything else. Once you do that, it's going to go ahead and run. It shows you where your mods folder is and your backup folder. So as long as all that checks out, you click run. Okay. And for me, I don't need any fixes, so I'm good. That's why it says no fix needed. But for you, it will then fix whatever's broken in the game. Now, I just want you guys to know that I really appreciate all of you and I hope that this helps somebody out there. I know this was a requested video. Um, so all the things I want to check out before we end the video is like I said, just make sure that you change the security settings on your MacBook to be able to download it. Number two, make sure that you remember to get to content management. It's going to pop up at the, you know, the top of the screen where your time and battery charge is. Okay. As soon as you have it open. Okay. Another thing, um, make sure that when it says that it cannot connect to your Sims four, that you find your users tab and you go to your name and then go to the applications and then you'll find your Sims four. All right. If you have any struggles, tell me in the comment section below, please thoroughly watch this video over and over again, as many times as you need until you get it right. I hope that this helps you guys. I really appreciate all of you and I'm sending you so much love and compassion. Thank you guys again. If you like the video, like it, comment what your struggles are, how everything went for you and subscribe to the channel. Thanks again for watching guys. You guys have a good one. Just three.